Hello Curious Coders, this is Bruce and the dog on the floor, and we've been working our way through the basic building blocks in the Elixir language. And today we're going to focus a little bit on calling functions. Some of the functions look like they are attached to modules and others don't, but you might be surprised to learn that they're all the same. And I want to show you how that works. Let's go. As with many of our episodes, we're going to work with an IEX, Interactive Elixir. So let's open that up. And specifically in this module, we're going to be talking about named functions. So let's talk a little bit about the anatomy of a function. We've already looked at the parking place for many of the functions that are supported by IEX itself and basic Elixir. The most basic functions, the most commonly used ones, are members of a module called kernel. So we can get some help on kernel. So we get some help about the kernel. This is information about that individual module. But what you need to know is that a module is a holding area for Elixir functions. So for example, if we want to see all of the functions that are supported by kernel, at least the public ones, we could type this exports word, and that means all of the functions that are exported. That means all of the public functions that this kernel module has. So this is a complete list of all those functions, and I can scale back a little bit until they all fit on the screen. And you can see that there's a ton of them, but what I want you to understand is that these functions have names and they also have arguments. And you can see the number of arguments right here. So for example, there's this function called floor. So to call this function, I'm going to type kernel dot and then the name of the function. And then I can type some value so in this case, floor is a mathematical function, and I can say I can give it, for example, 1.7, and it's going to give me this piece of the decimal. And it does. So one of the things that you might notice is that some of these functions have more than one version of them. In this case, is function, there's a version of this function with one argument and a version of this function with two arguments. And the reason is in Elixir, a function is different if it has a different number of arguments. So effectively in Elixir, functions have a module name and a name and a distinct number of arguments called the arity. And that's right here. And to call the function, all I need to do dot and then the function name floor and then I have these optional parentheses so I could type 1.7 this would work or I could type 1.7 like this in general if I'm writing compiled elixir code I will opt to leave in the parentheses but sometimes if I'm working in IEX I will opt to leave them out basically because I'm lazy the next thing that you need to know is that there are naming conventions for both modules, which tend to be camel case, and they begin with an uppercase character, like kernel, and functions themselves. So they tend to be in snake case and begin with a lowercase character. For example, this is snake case. And if I was building a function, with the name, this is snake case, this is how I would represent it, where words have underscores between them. If I wanted to write that in camel case, where the first letter of every word is capitalized. In Elixir, I represent variables, functions, and certain types of language structures with snake case, and I tend to represent modules with camel case. Now these functions in kernel have been imported, and that means I can call them 
just as if they had been declared locally. And that means I don't need to type the kernel dot. So for example, I might type floor of 4.2, or I might type floor of 42.4. Since this is in kernel, I can omit the kernel dot. We're excited to have you come along with us on your learning journey. If you want more insights like the one you just saw, come to Groxio and subscribe for a deeper dive where you can find more topics and videos to support your learning needs. Now there's one last thing that I'd like to show you. I'd like to show you the help feature so I can get help on floor. And I can type the number of arguments if I'd like to, or I can leave it off. And so I get the help for this kernel function. I could have also asked for help for kernel dot floor. And I can get the help in this manner. But one of the things that I want you to notice here is there's this thing called the type specification. This is going to tell us everything that we need to know about the function. So this is the name of the function and the parentheses around it. And there is the first argument and there's only one and we can see that this thing is a number. And following that, you can see the dot dot and the return value because in Elixir, everything has a return value. In this case, the return value is an integer. So let's take a look at another function called inspect. First, I'm going to say exports kernel, just so you can see what's going on. And I'm going to look for the inspect function. And as you can see, there are two versions here. And we're going to get help for a kernel dot inspect, or we could just use inspect like this. We could scroll up until we see the, the gold banner. And I want you to notice that in this case, we have the def, which is going to define a function in Elixir. So that, that's just telling us that this is a function. Here's the name of the function. Here's the first argument that's a term. And remember, a term is a value in Elixir. And ho, 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 there's this jumble. So all this is, this means that this function has a default value. So you can actually think about this double backslash as an equal sign. So if you if you hold your head sideways, it kind of looks like an equal. And in this case, if ops is provided, we'll use whatever value is provided. And if ops is not provided, then we'll consume effectively an empty list. So for this particular function, the type spec is that we have inspect, there's the last, there's a closing parenthesis that goes with it. We have one argument of this type. We have another argument of this type and don't worry about what's actually inside the specification. We'll get to those in a later episode. And then we have a return value of this type. And as you might imagine, this is the type for a string. And so that means we can call inspect with two different versions. And all inspect is it's a simple way for developers to look at something and translate values that may not be easily represented in strings. So for example, in Elixir, I can write a list in this way. And here you could see that this is a variable and you could see that I use snake case beginning with a lower letter. So let's even call this my list like this. So I can call the single argument version of inspect and here I can use kernel dot I and then you could see that my command completion is working 
or I could just type INS inspect and then remember parentheses are optional and so I could type my list and here I have a string representation of the data or I could add additional information I could add what's called a keyword so I could say this thing has a label and the label on this one is going to be my inspected list. This label is going to come in handy later when we debug, particularly when we use another version of inspect called IO inspect. So in this episode, we learned that we have modules, which are containers for functions and functions, which all have a name, a series of arguments and a return. And you also learned that we can have two functions of the same name with a different number of arguments, just like inspect here, and that some arguments in functions may have defaults. And the layering of these modules and functions is going to shape every single bit of our Elixir code. And so we'll be able to focus on that one thing <laughs> But it's an important thing that could take years to learn. But once you do, that's an excellent thing. From Bruce and the dog on the floor, this is Graxio Learning. <laughs>